Okay, so today you guys have a mystery picture on famous forensic um, cases. All right, so here's the deal. There are 34 questions. You are going to be answering these 34 questions. Now, I do expect most of you are going to be looking up these answers. And to mitigate 34 questions, I mean... You can ask somebody to like split the number with you so that you like half uh, does 17, the other half does 17. That way you're not stuck doing all 34. Um, so, and each person has to submit their own. Um, I can tell if you copy paste, don't do that. It won't work. Um, I'll see it. I'll know it. There'll be issues. Don't do it. So what you're going to do, you're going to look over all of these. Let's see. Mm. Number, tw where is it? Number 11. The unsolved case of this child beauty pageant queen has haunted Boulder, Colorado for decade decades. So what you're going to do, you're going to click on this and you're going to have three different answers, right? So I can look up um, I'm looking it up right now, like unsolved beauty queen. In Boulder, Colorado, and I'm pretty sure it's John Bonet. Yes. So the answer is John Bonet. So what you're gonna do is for number 35, you're gonna click the scroll down and you're gonna see brown. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that color for number 35 on this page. You're gonna find number 35. You're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see brown. That's all you're gonna do. And then you can go back to the question and you click your finish because you've done it. You've, you've completed it. Now, this is, um, this is what you're going to do for the rest of them. There are 34 questions and there is a rubric and on the rubric, it is this, you will see it here. Question number one and color. So you're going to answer the question on the first sheet, like I just showed you. To get your color and then you're going to go to the second sheet you're going to find the number or numbers that coincide with that answer and you're going to color it that color whatever color it was on the first page so you get two points for doing that um if you like incorrectly answer the question or you don't color on the second sheet you only get one point um if there's no answer no color you get a zero pretty simple so here's the deal if you have questions on this because i am not having a zoom on wednesday um because it's a half day what you can do is you can email me and i will try to get back to you just a heads up i'm probably not going to look at my email throughout the um the whole week that we're out out of school i will try and check in check in and figure out what's going on but don't expect me to hop on real quick. Um, class tag is the best way to get a hold of me during this week. I will not answer on Christmas Day. I will not answer on Christmas Eve. I'm going to spend that with my family. Besides that, use class tag. I will pop on every so often to do my, um, my emails. And beyond that, you guys are more than welcome to do any back work next week. I, I totally expect you guys to take this week, the rest of this week, Thursday, Friday off, not do anything. Um, but next week, definitely make up work. If you have any questions, please email or class tag me. I should be available to one o'clock tomorrow. So I hope you guys have a great day or one o'clock today, which is Wednesday. Um, so if you have any questions, email me. Besides that, I hope you have a great holiday week off. 
and have a nice day.